The Kulnik Fortress is a medieval monument in Romania. Together with the surrounding village, the fortress is designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Kulnik Tower was built around 1270 by Schill of Kellank, a local Saxon who built it as his residence and personal fortress. It had stone walls and was surrounded by a moat with access via drawbridge. Kellank was ennobled as Count or Graf by King Stephen V. His name became the name of the village, Kellank in Old Saxon, Kellang in German, and Kulnik in Romanian. These were tumultuous times. Earlier in the century, fortifications were built in Transylvania to defend against the Cumans. But during this period, the construction was in response to the Mongol invasion of 1241. The fortress was a noble personal residence until it was sold to the prosperous local Saxon community as the last male descendant of the family extinguished. The local community modernized the fortification to account for the new fire weapons of the time. A chapel was raised in the courtyard and was beautified with floral Renaissance style paintings. The fortress continued to be used for defense purposes until the 18th century, mainly against the Ottomans. In 1599, Kelnik was pillaged by the armies of Michael the Brave, who was king of Wallachia, and the fortress was emptied. Michael won the Battle of Schellenbar against Andrew Bathory and soon entered Alba Iulia, becoming the imperial governor, the de facto ruler of Transylvania under the Habsburgs. I will make the following note that this is an interesting period of time when Michael the Brave was able to challenge by winning battles against the three neighboring great powers, the Habsburg monarchy, the Ottoman Empire, and the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. A few months later, after defeating Andrew Bathory, he invaded Moldavia and was declared Prince of Moldavia and essentially bringing the three Romanian lands, Wallachia, Transylvania and Moldavia, under his rule. During this period, Michael the Brave changed his seal to represent his personal union of Wallachia, Moldavia and Transylvania. Getting back to Kulnik, the Ottomans destroyed the village in 1658, but failed to take the fortress. In modern times, restoration work was performed on the fortress between 1961 and 1964, and since 1995, the site has been administered by a foundation of Babish Bolai University in Cluj, Napoca. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe.